Hi, today I'm going to be talking about position management and how to use IG's API to bring your positions or open positions into your Python trading program and, and make decisions based off them. So yeah, jumping into the code, we have this small class I made here. Um, and the idea is that we use this uh, class, initialize it, we then get our open positions and then produce a list back from it. So we have these two um, imports. Uh, this here is initializing the class as an object. And you can see here, we go into this, we have these uh, objects that we initialize. And these objects are initialized using the the login uh, login uh, functions I talked about earlier in that login video I, I made. Um, so I'm not going to talk about that further. Yeah, and then we go into this function to get our open positions. We then get our open positions here. Um, we create this, uh, this global variable as a clear variable and we then get the positions from our open management class which essentially is this gigantic this, this infinite while loop and it will constantly ponder this uh, request until we return some output in the case that our our, our API keys expire we reinitialize the connection to make sure that, that this produces an output now there's a possibility here that this can go into an infinite loop but I've never had the, had it as the case because if there is an error that occurs it could possibly be an internet connection or an error that is the position doesn't exist and if that's the case um, it won't it won't get stuck here it will still produce output but it will just be like a null value or something like that so yeah if we go back here you can see we check whether it's a, a data frame if it is then we continue on if it isn't we return it as as is we then loop through the data frame when we convert the data frame to a single value um, per item in the data frame and then we store that into our global uh, dictionary with the ID of the position being the key and the position itself being the value it holds and then this is just uh, uh, some data removal stuff um, not really relevant for this tutorial and if we go back so yeah once we go into that when we come out of that we then check whether the data returned value so obviously we're, we're saying here data is equal to output so in this case if output is equal to error then we just return output as is um, as the value it is uh, a position we then create a position list um, which is empty we then go through the entire new dictionary of positions and then we append those dictionary those values to our position and return the position and then we just yeah do what we need to do okay so let's de debug this so you can see here we are initializing all these objects um, we're now going into this Um, we're getting open positions yeah we're doing a quick check you can see that this is a, a data frame we then loop for the data frame and then we divide into parts and save it into our new data map with the ID, with the deal ID being the key and the position itself being the value associated with that key. Um, yeah, this is not really relevant for that. And then we come back and our output is deal ID is that. Our position here is that and we append that to our list and we return the list back and you can see here That's our 
object. Now, um, if we say position list zero, single And if we say single position, um, let's say you can see this states details like the position size, the, when the contract was created, the deal ID, the, C, the deal size, direction, limits, open limit. So open levels so when the actual position was taken, what the price was, uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, so you can see that. Um, and then we have market, so what the actual market is doing for that particular instrument. Uh, yeah, you can see the details here. Now, one issue that IG has is they don't actually state what the current price would be if I were to exit my position right now. So that's where the, the time function I told you about comes in. So I made this little thing just to have a quick look. Um, and because we are going in the cell, I mean, because we're buying a position, we would be better to do that. Yeah, so you can see here, I mean, because it's a buy position, it would probably be best to reverse this. Yeah, so if you're doing a buy, you'll probably have this in reverse. If you're doing a sell, you'll use offer and have it in the other way around. So you can see here, this correlates exactly to what the current price is. Yeah, so you can see it correlates there quite well. So yeah, that's the idea. Um, that's how you get position data. Cool. Um, that's everything. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.